Hello and welcome, family, to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life truly in your narrative. And the, what I'm about to share today will is a really potent... Look at the wind. Look at the wind. It's a really potent and powerful portal, gate that has been opened or that opens every year that for so long these covens and these secret societies used to use to manifest their own dreams and desires and wishes, but that you can tap into now. And of course, I'm talking about the Lionsgate portal. But before I get into that, uh, special shout out to our Patreon family. Thank you so much for supporting us on that platform. We are supported literally by our global melanated family, and we're so proud of that family. Definitely consider supporting us so that we can continue to bring our own narrative to the global narratives family because right now it's a it's a war of narratives that's going on and the most important thing is we as an african people no longer want to be in someone else's narrative we want to be given the space and the time all the time is man-made. But we want to be given the space, the mental space, because people are always in our business to just create, to have our own story. Like, literally, they don't want us to have our own story. That's the contention. It's crazy. And they're always trying to tell us what to think or how to think or how the story should go. Like, that manipulation is over. The season where you could tell me the story about my life is gone. It's so crazy that the wind is uh, this wild family. It was so peaceful just an hour ago. Uh, if you see another show of mine, you'll see how I talked about how, you know, we communicated with the wind. And I was like, yo, just give me a couple minutes to just get the message out to our people, please. But of course, you know, our ancestors travel in the wind and we're so honored whenever we feel that breeze come by. But those are stories for other days. So family. A lot of the covens and societies, they have been the secret knowledge that they've been working for, why they can use that name secret in their secret societies, is the, the cycles, of moon, cycles of the moon, astrology, all of that stuff. And they've looked a lot at energies and how energies, diff different energies and different um, what, what they call planes, let me call them, they call them planets, but how different planes of reality um, hit us at different seasons and how it impacts different things. And one of their biggest manifestation portals is the Lion Gates portal, and it opens every year. It starts from around the 26th or, or the 27th with the new moon in Leo. That's why, please check out a show I just did where I was talking about how one of the best ways to protect yourself is to learn the, the moon cycles, is to learn a bit about astrology, because this is the magic that's being used right now to manifest. So the 8-8 portal, it opens around the new moon, which is around the end of July, uh, July 20. I don't know if I just said June, but I meant July 28th family. And it is most potent on 8-8. And usually what, um, you know, the secret societies will do, or a lot of witches and wizards, the good kind and the bad kind, um, a lot of spiritualists will do, is they'll use this, this, this Lion Gates portal to release the things that they want to depart from their lives and to welcome in, like to in, envision and imagine, you know, the greatest dreams, aspirations, what they want to happen in the next year, in the next phase, in the next chapter, in the next, in the next, in the next life, because we're in a new book of life right now, what they want to happen in that season. And they will write it out. They will chant it out. They will speak it out. And it is so important, family, because you can do the same to shift your life. These are those times where if you use that portal, it quantum leaps you. And so what would have taken you day, years and years of praying day in and day out, you can achieve just through this season, and especially that 8-8 portal, to shift you by force, by energy into a new timeline. Because what, they, what it means is like uh, the 8-8 portal is like... Um, you know, there's many timelines that are open to us. The, the timeline is fluid. Time is something we created, and they try and make it rigid so they keep us on their timeline. 
But every every second, there's multiple timelines that are opening up in front of us. And during this Lionsgate portal, you can literally jump from one timeline of your life to another. So maybe right now you're in the timeline where you're not successful, you're struggling, you don't have a job, you don't have this, you don't have that. You want to move, the spirit is nudging you to move, but you don't have the finances to do it, you're not feeling strong, you're feeling lethargic. Maybe that's the timeline you're on. But there are multiple timelines open to you. Infinite family. If you're a sun child, if you're a cosmic being. And so in this portal, if you were just for, just for this week, focus on creating new for yourself. Pray about it, write it out, burn it, write it, bury it, write it, speak it, and put it under your pillow or put it in, you know, wherever you're on your altar. If you could just concentrate on that and suspend your disbelief, your worry, your anxiety, just suspend it, even if it's just for that 3 a.m. hour every day for this season, then you can shift onto a new timeline, family, and you will see it. You can shift yourself onto a new timeline. I'm telling you, family, I am living proof of that. I have created a whole new life for myself in two years built an off-grid home, all these things, family. And it's not been with the, any physical, it's not any physical help. It's spiritual. It's mental. I used my powers as a creator and those things manifested. Blessings manifested. Gifts manifested. Sacred land manifested that I could afford to buy that has now almost like tripled in price. So it's like in that portal, everything worked out in that season. So I'm not preaching from a place of, you know, I'm preaching from a person who uses these gates, these energetic portals, who's deep in that moon practice. You know, and I say moon magic, people may get a bit freaky deaky, but <laughs> not freaky deaky like that, but you know what I mean. I'm living very aware with the limited knowledge that they have told us, you see, because they will tell us, you know, I mean, what Babylon will tell you about this season, the basics that I can even read, is that, you know, during the Lion's Gate portal, Sirius separates sufficiently from the sun to come into view. Since Sirius is the brightest star in our night sky, and a lot of us, our ancient ones and our ancestors, come from the Sirius star system, and they actually seeded us here. Stories for the days um, that it, it this this... Uh, because it's able to kind of separate and we can see it now in the night sky and it's not behind our sun, it now starts sending its energetic vibes to us. Or maybe our spiritual family, or maybe us on Sirius, because time is an illusion. Start sending energy to us here. Yo, the world is way more complicated than you'd ever believe. Um, so, you know, and it's something that the ancient Egyptians did. The ancient Egyptians actually worshipped Sirius as the goddess, um, Sopdet, uh, celebrating Sirius's return in the morning sky as the start of the farming season and the beginning of a new year. Healers and teachers in certain New Age communities believe the energy coming from Sirius contains special elevating or activating energy that can help the earth and her people evolve. So this article is from mindbodygreen.com. Um, and, you know, you should just do your own research, read into the Lionsgate portal. But that's what they tell us, that this is a potent um, season to manifest your greatest and wildest dreams, to release for an extreme release and an extreme manifestation. And if you can just position yourself to be more present in yourself, to ignore the distractions, to be like pigeonholed or like, I mean, what is it called when you're like, you have blinkers on? Focus. Write down the things you want to release. The mindsets, the people, the places, the experiences that you're saying no more to. Write that down. And then for me, as a, you know, I'm a fire person, I'm a water person as well. Anyway, 
Some of us avatars are all four elements, but for me, it's fire that I connect with the most at night. So I would usually burn out my wishes and then, you know, I mean, write them out and then burn it as a message to my ancient ones and my ancestors. They've already seen it, but that's my way of just physically, and as, as contained as I am, to try and get a message out. And it's funny how me writing out the narratives I no longer want will literally diminish those narratives. Before it would take a while for me to start seeing it in physical form. Now it's, it's taking a shorter amount of time. I'll ask the universe of something today and within a week it will manifest in my life. Someone will have it or something like that. And then take the time to also map out your life. This would be a great time for you to do a vision board. You see, here in Mama Africa, we don't know, but we're actually getting, we're coming out of, we're getting ready to come out of our winter season, our cold season. So this is almost like our new year that we're coming into around September. So the thing is, you know, um, learn the characteristics of a Leo what that means, the lion, the lioness, the one who, you know, the king and queen of the jungle, the one who stands up and must be taken notice of. And for this season, focus 100% on yourself, Focus on yourself with love. Love yourself more. Unity communities. Wake up, Africa. Welcome back, family. Uh, the wind is here. And, you know, um, our camera actually cut off. So I guess we're going to take that as a sign that, you know, our work is done for today. But I just wanted to just close out um, the discussion. So 8-8 is the powerful Lionsgate portal. It's happening right now. It started around the 28th. It's going to be going on. 8-8 is the most potent. That's when we're going to be having elections here in Kenya, which is a crazy thing. But it also means that to my Kenyan family, my Kenyan brothers and sisters, let's already start to stand together that 8-8 we will see a miraculous shifting for Kenya onto a new timeline, into a new dispensation that these leaders and misleaders cannot see that we will move into our revival season by any means necessary. I'm not praying for any politician. I'm not giving my energy to anyone. I don't even vote because I understand that energetically what I vote, that means I'm consenting to this current government. So I'm not going to be doing that. Um, and so Kenyan brothers and sisters across the world, let's stand together. Maybe I'll even do another video on that um, because I feel like I've focused a lot on what we can do individually, but this would also be a time for us to come together together collectively. I know a lot of us are in isolation or we really don't have people like that. So I'm thinking maybe we can um, we can come together at a specific time on 8-8, wherever you are, you come, you know, or whether we, um, I might even do a live then let me know in the comments below. I know we have very limited time. I'll try and release this video as quickly as possible. But let me know in the comments below. Should I do a live sh session for everyone? Should we, um, you know, on the Lionsgate portal? I don't know who will be awake or who wouldn't. Or should I do a video before where you guys can leave comments below on some of the affirmations that we can stand together on? <clears throat> let me know in the comments below. Because that's why we're creating the Unity Communities Ultimately Family is that at such times as this, that our unity communities would come together individually where they are and collectively across the world to, to usher in a new dispensation. So, you know, I don't want to get too deep into that. So that's, that's, that, that's that ultimate direction where we can work together and share our energy to not only create shifts in our own lives, but collectively. But we could do it either as a live or something. So let me know. Um, I'd have to really check if my, if my Wi-Fi would support a live, but I'd definitely be down for that. It would be my first live ever, which would also be quite symbolic. So, yeah. Uh, or please leave your affirmations. What affirmations should we have for this season? 
season for this 8-8 eight, eight, um, portal. So, uh, you know, if you have people of like mind that you can come together, you can come together with them, um, preferably after midnight, which is an odd time, or at midnight, and or check when the, the you know, I don't think there's times actually yet. So around midnight, whenever, and kind of stand together and commune together, just because there's less static in the atmosphere. But for yourself, family, try and make this a very spiritual week where you really focus on yourself, give gratitude for the, all the amazing things that have happened because I have taken a reprieve. And it's funny, the last few days, I've just been thanking the most tired, my spiritual team for getting me out alive, family. For getting me out alive. You guys don't know how many attempts on my life there's been since 2017, the last five years. Like, seriously. Oh, I just give thanks. I give thanks and praise and honor to my spiritual team. I'm also giving immense gratitude for all of you who have really kept me safe by tuning into my channel, by walking with me on this journey, and that we have actually created a vibrational shift that we will know about one time. I appreciate love all of you who have just shown me so much support, so much love. You are the family. I never had family. And a special shout out to my Patreon family who have really been there for me. Not just financially, but, you know, even like there's a sisterhood out there, older sisters who have just really held me up, even in the times of my greatest despair family, because the show must go on. And I've always been a firm believer that what I'm going through is really none of your business. I'm not going to come and burden with you, you with it until it becomes something that I need your support on. So thank you so much, uh, you know, to all of you that have supported me. So I've been giving a lot of gratitude for these last five years that we've had this awakening movement. And, and I've seen that we have shifted. We have shifted. And I pray that now we will totally shift into a new timeline. Because how do you think the Mayans did it? You think, the, you think Babylon as an inferior race were able to come and conquer the whole world? Or do you think that our people shifted onto other timelines? Like the Mayans, where are the Mayans? It's like their entire civilization disappeared. They've never been able to solve that. You know what happened? They went onto a new timeline, all of them. And maybe that's what they talk about with the rapture and all this stuff. But I know that's what's going to happen to Mama Africa. We're moving on to a new timeline. Some of us are already there, which is why a lot of these attacks can't happen. They can't take us out because we're not even in their timeline. It's crazy. So, and we've moved into a totally new timeline, family. The real shift will happen when we move the entire motherland onto our own timeline, onto our own narrative. That's when you'll really see some, some, some amazing, magical, mystical things pop off. Because it's hard for us to overstand, understand, and understand with all the dumbing down we've gone through all our lives that everything is here. The ancient ones are here. The answer, we're all on this. Together, time is but an illusion that was created to entrap us in this season and time, literally. So use this time, family, to show gratitude, to offer up, you know, your prayers of what you want to release. There's extra grace for that. And then to call in a new reality for yourself and then prepare. Because if you call in a new reality, then your spiritual team will let you know what you need to let go of. All the best, family. May perpetual favor shine on your life. May signs and wonders be a living testimony. And in a twinkle of an eye, may your reality shift. To Kopamonja.
So many of us have made transformational changes in the last two years in our lives. Many of us have relocated, many of us have moved out of old relationships, old cities, old ways of being, old careers, and we find ourselves in, in very new environments, both internally and externally. And one of the greatest uh, requests that I get from you guys all the time is do I know of people of like mind, people of like consciousness, people who are also searching or on their awakening journey in your communities who you can get together with, who you can reason together with? Because you almost need that support system to create your, your own narrative. Um, and you know, it's something that I actually didn't even fully understand the value of it until I moved to the little village, which I feel is my final destination for now. And you know, I've met so many people, healers, people who are in the new industry um, here. And one of the things is there is like a conscious community, but one of the things is I moved here to hang out with one of my friends. Well, not hang out really, but to kind of, I was, I was spiritually drawn here, but she was already here and she's a healer, a womb healer, et cetera, et cetera, a whole other story. And through her, I met another conscious family who do only organic farming from heirloom seeds, and through her, you know, I met other community members and I found it so important in terms of anchoring me into my new narrative. And so I really would love it if we could create communities across um, you know, the motherland and across wherever melanated people are across the world family. We are willing to coordinate that here and kind of see where it goes. So if you'd be interested in something like this, definitely email me drmumbi at drmumbishow.com and we're just going to start by, you know, putting people in touch, maybe creating WhatsApp groups, etc, etc. Oh my gosh, it's raining. So definitely consider joining us family. Chukopamoja.